The Cuyahoga River Gorge. Created by retreating glaciers at the end of the last ice age, it's peaceful and it's dramatic. In it sits Gorge Metro Park, an escape and refuge from the day-to-day -day hustle and bustle and a treasured Summit County destination. Through it flows the iconic Cuyahoga River. Flowing southwest from its headwaters in Geauga County, the river encounters a large deposit of bedrock in Cuyahoga Falls, forcing it to make a sharp U-turn before finishing its journey to Lake Erie. With rocky outcrops, caves, and dramatic scenery, the area where the river turns towards the north has attracted visitors for more than 150 years. Coming from near and far, outdoor enthusiasts once flocked to the gorge to view the big falls of the Cuyahoga and to enjoy the amusement park rides, dance halls, picnicking, and more. And that tradition continues today at the 155-acre Gorge Metro Park. But over the years, the river has faced serious challenges. In 1911, the massive gorge dam was built to support electricity generation for streetcars and city lights. Its construction put the famous Big Falls underwater and forever altered the landscape of the gorge. In the 1950s, the Cuyahoga had become a virtual sewer. As the region industrialized, the river became extremely polluted. Like other rivers around the country, the Cuyahoga between Akron and Cleveland became a convenient dumping ground for raw sewage, industrial waste, toxins, and polluted runoff. Thanks to the Federal Clean Water Act and the entire Cuyahoga River community, the river has largely recovered from its polluted past, but the Gorge Dam remains. Today, the 58-foot-high, 425-foot-wide remnant of the past serves no useful purpose. In fact, the dam is the only thing standing in the way of a completely free-flowing Cuyahoga River from Kent to Lake Erie. Even though dams were built with good intentions, they cause a lot of problems for water quality. In addition to preventing fish from traveling freely, dams affect the dissolved oxygen, flow, and temperature of the river. They also reduce habitat, trap and concentrate sediments and toxins, and alter the food web of the dam pool. Five other dams have already been removed on the Cuyahoga, resulting in nearly 10 miles of restored river. And what's good for the fish is also good for the people. These projects helped improve quality of life and drive economic development along the riverfronts in these communities over the past 10 years. That's why a large group of community partners have joined forces to free the falls at Gorge Metro Park. US EPA intends to fund the majority of the project through the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative, and non-federal funds will also be required. A funding plan for sediment remediation, construction of the sediment disposal site, dam removal, and restoration of the dam pool is in progress. Meanwhile, the City of Akron's ongoing sewer system upgrade requires construction work in the same area. While both projects are being carefully planned and coordinated to minimize disruptions to the public, there will be park and trail closures over the next several years. Although the result will be worth it, taking down a dam this big isn't easy. So how will we do it? First, nearly 1 million cubic yards of sediment must be removed from behind the dam. The sediment has been collecting for 100 years and contains pollutants consistent with the area's industrial past. A mechanical dredge system consisting of a clamshell bucket, crane, and scow barge will troll the reservoir, slowly removing sediment scoop by scoop. This work will likely be completed over two construction seasons. Each full scow barge will then be unloaded at a staging area, where it will be screened to remove any large debris. The still wet sediment will then be pumped through a temporary pipeline under the Front Street Bridge, and then alongside High Bridge Trail. It will continue under the High Level Bridge at North Main Street to the Chuckery area of Cascade Valley Metro Park, about two miles from the dam. The Chuckery area was historically a dumping site, and will be utilized as the permanent disposal area for the contaminated sediment. To make room to store the sediment and concrete mixture, trees must be removed from a portion of the chuckery area. 
The sediment is mixed with concrete in the pipeline to form a more solid material that can be contoured before it is fully stabilized. This is an innovative and safe approach that has been used at sites across the country. The disposal area is designed to ensure permanent stabilization of the sediment mounds, minimize impacts to buried utilities, and appropriately manage stormwater. After final grading is complete, the sediment mounds will be capped with soil and the area will be planted with a native mix of trees and vegetation and contoured to look as natural as possible. Within about 10 years, the final conditions will result in a biodiverse habitat that will complement the natural beauty of Cascade Valley Metro Park. Next, the dam itself will be removed. The water level of the reservoir will slowly drop as the dam is dismantled. The dam will be deconstructed using a barge-mounted excavator. To lessen the impacts to the area and to reduce costs, it may be possible to remove only the center spillway and exposed piping of the dam. If left intact, the remaining sections of the dam could then serve as a cultural resource and potentially be repurposed as a river overlook for park visitors. The final step of this project will be to restore the river corridor to its natural state with a rocky channel and vegetation that will promote a healthy river ecosystem. Restoring the original grandeur of the gorge is our region's path to a vibrant future for the health of the river, its watershed, and its people. That future will bring clean water, natural beauty, recreational opportunities, educational experiences, and economic development. This project has national significance and is supported by more than 50 agencies, businesses, and civic organizations, as well as the public. Dam removal is critical to restoring the Cuyahoga River and completing a recovery decades in the making. From our industrial roots flows a new future, one that carries Summit County forward while honoring our rich history. The result will be a healthy, free-flowing Cuyahoga River for all to enjoy.